Ruben Burga. I'm the owner of Limeña. I'm Chef Joshua Bergen. I'm the chef here at Limeña. You know, it's always been a, a dream of ours to open up a restaurant. We were working on this project for years before we opened. We wanted to bring the best of the Peruvian food here to Thousand Oak. So in Peru, the marinade recipe is always kind of like a secret. I kind of kept that tradition. I'm the only one that does the marinade. I went to Le Cordon Bleu in Pasadena. Then I went to Lima and I studied at Le Cordon Bleu in Lima as well. Worked at some of the establishments there. I definitely gravitated towards uh, Peruvian food, which is what I grew up on. We used to get together over the weekends with, you know, and prepare different type of Peruvian food. So it definitely stood out to me growing up. My father, you know, when he came to this country, he first started a valley parking business. He, you know, always was, was going through, involved with restaurants. I started working years ago at the age of uh, 18, 19 at Mame Son, which is probably the starting point of California cuisine, with Wolfgang Park and uh, Patrick Terrell, the owner. Uh, being around people of that caliber of, of chefs, you know, food grew up my father as well, you know, so I grew up eating very well. They, he's a very outstanding cook. You know, eventually that, that passion kind of moved on towards me. from Lima and I wanted to represent the, the restaurant almost being from Lima. You know, Peruvian food is uh has always been on the on the rise. It was a cuisine that that I wanted to help get more popular. You know, you when, in, in the States you always hear like there's the top cuisines. You have like Chinese food, you have Mexican food. Um, you have Italian, those are like the main staples, you know, and I, I always felt that Peruvian food eventually could be up in that category of something that people think of, of on a daily basis of when they're thinking of what to eat, you know. seller which is Lomo Saltado is a fusion of like Chinese food and, and Peruvian food. They call it chifa there. It's a chifa is a Peruvian Chinese food. It, it's a wok stir fry. They call that the kiss of the dragon right there. That's, that, that's the secret to all the flavor of the Lomo Saltado is the fire really. It's usually the dish that uh, people that haven't tried Peruvian food, they probably usually gravitate towards Lomo Saltado. in there which is always like that comfort food so when you see french fries mixed in with juice and everything uh, in the meats and everything it's definitely an eye catcher so people gravitate towards that it feels a little safer than if you're not too adventurous it's a good place to start with that is a, a big example of a fusion in uh, in Peru Our ceviche, which is probably one of the signature dishes in Peru, originates from, from uh, the time of the Incas. But lately, you know, we have a lot of uh, Japanese influence in the way that ceviche is made. 
Originally, the pre-Inca, in pre-Inca times, they used to eat the fish on acidic fruit that they call tumbo, which is like in the same family as like passion fruit. They originally made it with that and not until like the Spaniards came and brought limes and everything was when it kind of morphed into more similar to what we see today. What's in the leche is basically the ceviche, um, liquefied, you know? The, the flavor comes from the, the, the fish kind of cooking with the, with the lime juice and then making a juice to it that is very flavorful. It's definitely a, a big staple in Peru. It's probably the most iconic dish, I would say, from Peru. And we have a Spanish influence, the arroz con marisco, which they call in Peruvian paella. It is almost exactly like the paella, except that we use Peruvian ingredients instead of the saffron. I know that I focus on providing the most authentic Peruvian food possible. A lot of our key ingredients are actually imported from Peru. The best part of opening up the restaurant would probably be talking to new people. It definitely, that's the best part. I mean, seeing people so happy with their meal and telling us, oh, I'm gonna recommend it to my friends and my neighbors, um, that is the best part. Originally, when we were first thinking of opening up the restaurant, we came to Thousand Oaks because we thought that the community would be very open-minded to a new cuisine. It's been wonderful serving them. Yeah, I love Thousand Oaks and, and how much they've supported us in these hard times, actually. There's nothing more uh, rewarding than seeing the empty plates at the end of their meals.